Microsoft is taking over my computer. This is a statement I hear a lot working in IT, and this usually means OneDrive is on the computer doing what OneDrive does. So what is OneDrive and do you need it? Well, what is OneDrive? That's a very simple answer. OneDrive is Microsoft's personal online storage service. Everybody gets what that means, right? No. To explain this better, Microsoft allows you to use some cloud storage space, which is physical sp space on their end, right? So they have massive supercomputers. We've talked about this a lot with tons of room for data. So what Microsoft does when you sign up for a Microsoft account is they allot some of the space to you for free on those supercomputers, right? In the cloud, in the magical cloud, not really magical. Again, physical computer, just in a data center, big supercomputer. Now when OneDrive is installed on your system, which if you buy a Windows 11 computer or a Windows 10 computer even now, it's gonna come pre-installed on the system. What it does is it links to your Windows account and roots itself into your file explorer. Now, it usually sets itself up as the default save location in addition to the local machine, right? So what does that mean? So let's say you save a document on your PC. Well, you can choose to save that file locally in Word, for example, or you can save it to OneDrive, which means you still get that local copy in your documents, but you also get a cloud copy. So it saves a copy of that document into the cloud. Why would this be useful, right? Well, just like any other personal online storage service or file sync program, it's useful in this way. Let's look back at that document that we saved our, on our computer and to OneDrive earlier, right? In this hypothetical situation, let's say I go to a different computer and let's say I created that document on the, my work computer, right? Which is computer A. Well, now I go to computer B, my second computer, which is my personal home computer. It's very far from my work computer. In fact, it's in a completely different building. Well, the information or documents that I save to OneDrive on computer A, my work computer, I can view and see if I go to OneDrive.com or have a linked OneDrive account on this computer B, second computer, right? My personal computer. So I can download and view those same files or same documents, even though I didn't create them on computer B, they were uh, created on computer A. So you see here, the application for this, right? Moving files easily. It's a nice feature, but here's the drawbacks to OneDrive. One, you have to pay for space as you fill the space, right? It's not unlimited. They give you a little bit of free space. And once you fill that up, they prompt you into buying more space constantly via email or the application notifications, whatever. That's drawback number one. It's going to cost you some money to get space. Number two is it's very important. In fact, th number two, this is very important. OneDrive is not a backup. And I repeat, not a backup. Many, many pe times people tell me, oh, I don't have to worry about a backup. I have a backup. I have OneDrive. OneDrive is not a backup. It is a file sync program. It is not a full system wide backup, and it does not protect against data loss in ways that a true dedicated backup will protect you. And one last thing I want everyone to remember is that OneDrive can definitely be removed from your computer if you don't want it or don't need it. Just has to be unlinked from the PC via the settings and removed properly. And if you're having any trouble with that or you want a trustworthy backup service, reach out to My Computer Works and we'll be happy to help.